Photoshop Elements represents a big change in the way the program looks and feels. Right from the welcome screen you will start to see the fantastic differences we have made and how these changes will make using your favourite editing software a much easier experience. But don't be worried that everything has changed. All the fundamentals remain the same. For instance, we still have two workspaces. The organiser and the editor. The organiser is used to manage and sort all your photos. And the editor is enhancement central. You will use the tools in this space to bring out the best in your pictures. So starting with the welcome screen, you select which workspace you want to work in, tap on that button and it will take you to that workspace. First the organiser. Straight away you'll notice a cleaner, more modern interface with brand new icons and a much simpler way of viewing your library and catalogue. There is new three column design with albums and import folders on the left, your images in the middle, and tags, keywords and information on the right. The task panes that were displayed on the right in previous versions of Photoshop Elements have been moved to different locations. Let's just jump back to a previous version of Photoshop Elements to see what it looked like there. Here you can see we have the task panes sitting on the right hand side. They're broken up into Organize, Fix, Create and Share. You'll also notice that we only have two columns in this interface design. Now back to Photoshop Elements 11. See how the organized tasks are displayed on the right by default. The Create and Share tasks have been moved to the pop-up menus at the top right of the workspace. If I click on these buttons, you'll see the same options that we had in the previous version of Photoshop Elements, but now they're in a pop-up menu. The same for the Share tasks. The Fix tasks can be displayed via the button at the bottom of the screen. So if you click on Instant Fix, you'll now see the Fix task displayed here. Applying those is as simple as selecting the picture that you want to apply the fix to and then clicking on one of the options available in the pane. To display all of the keywords and the information that you had before, simply click on the Keyword Info button. You will have also noticed a bar at the bottom of the screen. Here you will see buttons for regularly used options such as playing a slideshow, rotating a photo, or moving a selected image or video to one of the editing workspaces. There are also buttons here for new ways to view subsets of your photos. They link to the Media, People, Places and Events View buttons at the top of the screen. These options give you new ways to view the photos that you have in your collection. And just a little heads up for Premiere Elements users. The organizer is also used to manage your video clips and sequences. And the editing space for you guys is the Premiere Elements Editor workspace. So if you have both Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements installed, the same organizer is common to both programs. So this is where you'll generally start to work with your images. Then, when you need to enhance your photos, you'll head off to the Photoshop Elements Editor workspace. When you want to turn your attention to working with video clips, then your movies will be opened from the organizer into the Premiere Elements Editor workspace. OK, let's go and look at the Editor workspace now. To do this, I just select an image and click on it inside the organizer space, and then hit the Editor button at the bottom of the screen. With the Editor open, you'll notice the same clean lines and newly designed icons as we saw inside the organizer. The three editing modes, Quick, Guided and Expert, are all accessed by clicking the buttons at the top of the screen. Each mode has a set of tools on the left, the image in the middle, and extra features on the right. The Quick Edit mode provides a no-fuss, fast way to enhance your photos. You can see the controls we have here on the right hand side. And the adjustments are made by moving over and then clicking one of these thumbnails. The guided edit mode contains helpful step-by-step -step instructions for each of the techniques that you can see here on the right. So if we select one of these, you'll see that we have both the tools that we need to make the changes, 
plus also some explanation. And finally, the expert mode. This provides access to the full range of Photoshop Elements enhancement tools, and it gives you the ultimate control for adjusting your image. All modes now contain a new panel at the bottom of the screen. Here you can display the photo bin, show extra tool options for the tool that you currently have selected, and do things like undo and redo the changes you've made to the photo. In addition, this area of the workspace will also contain other options that are edit mode specific. Here in the expert edit mode, you'll see a range of other panels that we can show on the right hand side by just clicking these options here or the sideways arrow to show you even more options. If we go to the quick edit mode, you'll see that there are less options available here. The panels on the right hand side can be displayed or hidden by just clicking on the button associated with that panel. The menu bar remains along the top of the workspace, but now the create task pane is accessed by clicking the button that you can see here. Here are the creation options that were in the create task pane in the previous version of Photoshop Elements. This has been a quick introduction to the changes in the interface for the organizer and editor workspaces for Photoshop Elements. See our other videos for demonstrations of the great new features that are also part of the version 11 release. Thank mm -hmm. you.